An explosion followed by a fire in an apartment building left a dozen families homeless. Now, the Overland Park Fire Department is looking for a cause tonight. Zach Tecklenburg is live at the scene of the fire and finds out what residents are looking for to do next there. Zach? Hey there, Mark. Investigators say they probably won't have the cause of this fire and explosion figured out until sometime next week. People living here at the Brownstone at Overland Park Apartments say they're still shaken up from what happened last night, especially the man who felt the blast from just across the hall. Residents couldn't ignore the rattling on Thursday night. The whole building started shaking and stuff fell from my ceiling. Or the smoke and flames that followed. It was kind of, I don't know, unreal. Jarrett Cullens and Salvador Valencia live just across the hall from the explosion. Cullens was studying for a test when it happened and ran outside to see glass and window blinds scattered all the way to the next building. Then he looked up and saw where it all came from. And I didn't see much in there, so I came back in and started knocking on his door to see if he was all right. To Cullen's surprise, his neighbor, who just moved in in December, answered. The first thing he said was, my apartment just blew up. Cullen's waited with the man for an ambulance to arrive. He didn't get a good look at his neighbor because the apartment was dark. Except for the fire for light. The Overland Park Police Department says the man is expected to survive. His cat was also discovered alive this afternoon. For Cullen's in Salvador, they're worried about what comes next. We have no idea. Like I said, just like, we were just talking, like, you know, what, what do we do? They do have renter's insurance and have already been in touch with adjusters, but don't know how badly their belongings are damaged. Our clothes, on my couch and everything, you know. Beds. Taking stock of their stuff, but happy to be alive. The fire department says major damage was confined to just one unit, though some others did suffer smoke damage. Apartment management says there are enough empty units here at the complex to give to residents until they can move back in for just for the time being. We're live in Overland Park tonight. Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.